Hi guys, thanks for doing this today. Um, so just for starters, uh, how would you describe your characters and their relationship to each other in particular, but also where they stand in sort of the larger friend group? Yeah, I play Amber, who is obviously a um, high schooler at Woodsboro, and she is best friends with Tara. She's um, a fiercely protective friend and uh, very loyal as well. I play Liv, and uh, my character is like fairly new to the friend group, and we're all high school students in the same group. And she's dating Chad, played by Mason, and uh, she's kind of just figuring out who she is. Um, in this world and in the friend group. And I think sometimes she can be misunderstood by some of her friends, <laughs> but um, yeah, she's, she's different layers to her. Yeah. Mikey, I remember we did the uh, virtual set visit all the way back in like October of 2020. And uh, I remember you said you had auditioned for the movie in like March of 2020, I think it was. So that seems like a million years ago at this point. Um, how cool is it that the movie's finally coming out and you guys can finally talk about it? It's, yeah, it's, it's crazy. I, it does feel like a million years ago. I mean, I auditioned for the movie before the pandemic, like right before everything shut down. So it, it's, it's crazy. And, and also like we've all developed really um, in, intense, like beautiful friendships outside of the movie. So it's just exciting that, like, I don't know, the thing that we all created as friends is, is about to come out. It's, it's yeah, it's, it's a cool feeling. And yeah, remember, I think you guys said that uh, you weren't really allowed to read beyond a certain point in the script when you guys were shooting. So what's it like mm -hmm. making a movie where you don't know if you're a victim, if you're the killer? I mean, does that kind of make the performance a little more exciting for you? Um, I don't know about the performance. I think it just makes the just being there and like filming the project overall exciting because I feel like you feel like you're also part of the audience and you're like anticipating and you want to know and it's like that extra layer of fun and mystery that they added in that made us feel like we were, you know, like watching the film in a sense. And um, I love that. Yeah. Is there a part of you who, uh, I mean, no spoilers or anything, but was there ever a part of you going, ooh, I ghost face or oh, I don't die. Uh, yeah. But I feel like, I don't know. I feel like regardless of, of, you know, just to be in the film, regardless of whether you survive, die or are ghost face, the three options are all really cool. So, <laughs> you know, it's true. Uh, well, thank you guys so much. And uh, congrats on the movie finally coming out. Attacks so far. Do you have a gun? I'm Sydney Prescott. Of course, I have a gun. Something about this one just feels different. Samantha, I'm. I know who you are. I've been through this a lot. This is your life now, which means that whoever this is is going to keep coming for you. You ready? For this? Never. No, stop. Wait, wait, wait. There are certain rules to surviving. The attacks were all on people related to the original killers. Whatever his link is to our past, it's pulled us all back here. And I won't sleep until he's in the ground. 